Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. So here we go with round one, Grappler versus Grappler. This was probably the wrong week for me to skip combat Samba class. What are your expectations for this one? I expect these guys to come together, man. I expect them to come together, and we're going to see some fantastic throws. And not only just fantastic throws, but just jockeying for position. Even though it may not look that these guys are doing much, the, the, the little details in the underhooks, in the clinches, in the foot position, head position, is going to be very interesting to watch. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, side control now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. He's putting him in unbelievable. Sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, Grapple versus Grapple, we see a striking effect, but all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them in the picture. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is normally for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that says the first are as good in these positions as they are tonight, they get mirror images of themselves. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice leg kicks. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch. Taking for a ride. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Down into his mouth. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. This is a terrible position. The 
more is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He's to turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on. Take a seat, bud. Good round. I need more. OK, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go All right, fight. round two. Nice punch here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And he counters with a left hand. Left hand punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's a tight armbar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't this be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission.